All right, folks, giving you guys an update on the coronavirus here locally. So in these in these couple of few news reports, you will find that we have two cases right here in Virginia Beach. We have eight in the whole entire state. North Carolina has actually declared a state of emergency with seven. And Virginia is going to actually talk about it today. <laughs> I'm assuming that Virginia will probably declare a state of emergency today. So we'll see. Damn, can you do not say that?
is blindsided with the world. And I think we've handled it very, very well. Amid mounting criticism of his administration's response to an outbreak that has been moving across the globe for nearly three months, President Trump once again tried to reassure Americans. We will be taking care of the American public. The president previously said he thought the U.S. economy was resilient enough to weather the fallout of coronavirus. But now, he says he's seeking very substantial relief, including help for hourly wage earners and a possible payroll tax cut. Even a one percentage point reduction in the payroll tax could cut up to $75 billion in revenue. In a sign of how quickly pressure is mounting, We think we will get out of this within months. Just this past Friday, the president's top economic advisor, Larry Kudlow, had pushed against big stimulus packages. The administration is also considering relief for airlines and the cruise industry. But Democrats say the White House should prioritize help for individuals before corporations. This is about the families. We're about putting families first. If, if your children's school is closed, who's going to take care of them at home? At least five members of Congress have now self-quarantined after interacting last month with an individual at the Conservative Political Action Conference, or CPAC, who later tested positive for coronavirus. They include the president's incoming chief of staff, Mark Meadows, Georgia's Deb Collins, who shook President Trump's hand Friday ahead of a visit to the CDC. And Florida's Matt Gates, who flew with the president on Air Force One just yesterday. Gates tweeted a photo of himself wearing a gas mask while he signed the coronavirus funding bill. It's unclear exactly what the appetite is among Republicans for a payroll tax cut. These are meant to put more money in workers' pockets, but some economists question whether that kind of stimulus would work in this situation where most people are trying to stay home and not spending as much money. Tony. Paula, thank you very much. Yeah, they, they Investor they the about the Trump administration's coronavirus proposals lifted world markets overnight after yesterday's historic losses. All three of Wall Street's major indexes plunged more than 7% on Monday. The Dow's more than 2,000 point drop is a one day record. Nikki Batiste is outside the New York Stock Exchange for us. Nikki, good morning. So, is this free fall likely to continue or slow? Good morning, Tony. Well, experts have been. The odds of a possible recession have increased, but the potential stimulus package has contributed to futures rising by more than 4% today, a respite for anxious investors. It comes after the stock market suffered its worst losses since the financial crisis of 2008. Congress would have to approve any payroll tax proposal by the president, and President Trump is also discussing paying hourly employees missing work over the coronavirus. Both measures were received well by markets, which have made significant gains in futures trading at this hour. Crude oil prices also inch back up overnight after plunging over the coronavirus outbreak. The state now has seven presumptive cases of the virus. Cooper said that five new cases were reported in Wake County, all of them linked to a Boston conference. Right now, North Carolina has supplies to test 300 more people. All of the patients are in isolation while officials identify close contacts. The CDC has warned against traveling by cruise ship amid fears of spreading the illness. And tonight, we are looking at how local mass transit systems are preparing to keep coronavirus from spreading among passengers here at home. News 3 reporter Kovalasaki live in downtown Norfolk at the bus transfer center. So. Hampton Roads Transit employees are working hard to keep passengers and employees healthy. All hard surfaces like handholds, the railings are wiped down, windows are wiped down. How the often? And the dashboard area for the driver is also wiped down. And then after that morning run, the buses that are available come back through and that process is repeated. That means the ticket machines and all the small buttons on the pin pad are huh. regularly wiped down throughout the day as well as the seats and armrest passengers are likely to come in contact with. The rail people are wiping down handholds and the railings on a regular basis to make sure that they're as clean as they can be. Uh, and it's also true with um, uh, the ferry service. HRT is encouraging passengers to follow important health recommendations from the CDC. If you're not feeling well, then stay home. If you have uh, a fever, stay home. If you have to cough, then you can, you know, use a tissue 
but I happen to have a Kleenex, so I, I use my, my uh, handkerchief. Um, or you can just put your face in your, in your arm like that and, and cough that way. As for interstate mass transit, companies say they're taking similar precautions. Amtrak says they are cleaning multiple times a day and in some cases